Zebra has just released a virtual choir garage band template to help music teachers more easily create a virtual choir performance. The template is available to download for free at pinkzebramusic.com. This video tutorial will show you the basics of how to use the template. Step 1. Have your students record their vocal performances for your selected song into their phones while listening to a part predominant practice track, the accompaniment track, or demo recordings of the song. The demo recordings for Pink Zebra songs can be freely downloaded at pinkzebramusic.com when you sign up for the email list. It is important that the students use headphones to listen to the accompaniment or demo track while they record their vocals. The only sound they should be recording is their individual vocal performance. The accompaniment music track should not be audible in the recording. Please note, students must record audio files and not video files. File types should be MP3, M4A, AIFF, or WAV. We recommend students record with the Voice Memos iPhone app or similar Android app. Step 2. Have your students send you their audio files using whatever method you prefer. Step 3. Open the Virtual Choir GarageBand template. Here we go! While using this template, we will completely ignore the tempo setting and the bars and beats that go by in the timeline. Nothing we do will be related to that grid. If you hear the metronome click, turn it off here. Notice that the template has pre-populated tracks on the left side. The top track is labeled Accompaniment Track. Drag your accompaniment track into that top slot and slide it all the way to the left. The accompaniment track volume level is set at minus 8 dB. This is a good volume level to start with. You may find later that you need to raise or lower the level to get your desired balance. Next, you will notice that there are a series of vocal tracks. There are 10 sopranos, 10 altos, 10 tenors, 10 baritones, and 10 basses. If you don't need some of the tracks, simply click on them and delete them. If you need additional tracks, right-click on one and select New Track with Duplicate Settings. These vocal tracks are pre-configured with settings that will most likely fit your needs. Each track volume is set at minus 13 dB, which is soft for an individual track, but an appropriate level once many vocal tracks are heard together. Each track has appropriate panning, a little bit of pitch correction, EQ, plus reverb and ambience. Your personal taste may lead you to tweak these settings to get your desired sound. Now, you are ready to drag in your first vocal recording. You can trim off the empty audio at the beginning if you wish. Find the first phrase and drag the audio track until the timing with the accompaniment track sounds correct. You can hold the control key while dragging to make finer timing adjustments. Now mute the first vocal track and drag in the next vocal track. Follow the same procedure to line up the second vocal. Mute that track and drag in another vocal. Repeat until all the vocals are in place. Timing issues. Since you were not there to conduct the phrases, there will likely be timing issues that need to be corrected. We recommend finding one of your strongest recordings and using that as the timing guide or master. Solo that track by clicking the headphone icon and solo one other track. Highlight the audio file, then click Track, and select Enable Flex. This activates a time-stretching tool. When a phrase doesn't quite match the master vocal, just drag the end of that section of audio to stretch or compress it slightly to fix the issue. Yeah. 
It may take a while to make it through all of the vocal tracks using this method, but the effort will pay off in the end. Mixing When you look at all of your vocal tracks, you will notice that some have larger waveforms and some are much smaller. To achieve a nice vocal blend, you will want to move the volume slider to the left to decrease the volume of the loud tracks and move the slider to the right to increase the volume of the soft tracks. At this point, you may also consider if you like the volume of the accompaniment track or if it needs to be boosted or pulled back. Additional tweaks and editing. GarageBand has many features that will allow you to fine tune and improve your virtual choir even more. We recommend watching or reading GarageBand tutorials to improve your GarageBand skills. Exporting. Before exporting, we recommend going into Preferences to make sure Auto Normalize is deselected in the Advanced tab. This will help prevent some distortion and overloading issues with the overall music track getting too loud. If you still have problems with distortion, try turning all of the tracks down in volume. When you are ready, select Share and then Export Song to Disk. Legal Stuff Please note, this template may be used to create a virtual choir performance for any song by any composer. However, there may be copyright issues that you will need to clear depending on the composer and song as well as the legal rules about the usage of accompaniment tracks from different publishers. You may use this template to create virtual choir performances using purchased accompaniment tracks for any Pink Zebra song provided the final recordings are not intended to be monetized, sold, or mass-produced. For example, the final recordings cannot be included on a CD, streamed on Spotify, etc. The final virtual choir performance recording can be freely distributed to students and families. Please refer to the Pink Zebra Accompaniment Track Licensing Agreement terms for additional information. Please provide feedback in the comments below. If this template can be improved based on the feedback, Pink Zebra is happy to modify the template to better suit your needs. Have fun!